What is going on everybody? Good morning. We got a lot to talk about and not a whole lot of time, so I'm gonna get right into it. Not about wasting y'all's time. So to start off, like three things that y'all need to do before you modify or tune your Jetta, the Mark VI Jetta specifically, before you guys do that, like there's a few things you guys must do. Like these are crucial. And let me tell you why. You take care of these things, you check these things out, these are gonna avoid issues in the future that could come up or worsen. And if there's an issue with your tune or a bolt-on that you put on, you know it's a bolt-on, it's not this, that, or the other, and you, you waste your time checking out a bunch of shit when you should be checking out the actual cause. You don't know, because you're too busy take care of other issues. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, start off, first thing you guys need to do is either you if you're, you know, if you're knowledgeable about your Mark VI Jetta, your specific platform, inspect your car, inspect the motor, inspect the underside, inspect all the important parts, uh, because if there's an actual issue and you guys don't get it taken care of, mm -mm, that ain't it. Like, you're going to have some bad, like, I don't, like, I can't even tell you, like, you can blow up your motor, man. So you need to check things like spark plugs, coil packs. Uh, depending on your platform, you probably need to check out your uh, water pump and thermostat. Those like to go out on the Mark VI uh, platforms. Not so much the 1.4. Okay, let's rub a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Not so much for uh, the 1.4 liter, but the 1.8 and the 2.0. You know, not NQB and MQB. Still, both of those tend to go out and fail especially if you're above 60,000 miles. Those will go out with a tune. And uh, Audi and Volkswagen are notorious for that. Water pump failures, all the time. Ask, ask any guy who's owned a couple of Volkswagens or Audis, they know that these parts like to go out. So you gotta take care of that. And you know, you're gonna have a big issue if your thermostat doesn't open or it stays open. You guys also need to be checking spark plugs and coil packs, especially if you're going to get a tune. If you're getting a tune, definitely replace those before you tune your vehicle. Before. Because you're going to get a misfire. You're not going to know if it's the tune or you're running too rich or running too lean. You won't know. You're like, oh, maybe it's the spark plugs. You know, that's why I have this issue, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Plus, if you don't get the proper spark plugs and they're not properly gapped, you can have even worse issues. You can get some knock, uh, like I said, misfire. You know, you just don't know. And I've seen spark plugs that are like completely destroyed. Like they're bad, like toast. Like if you guys saw my video a long time ago when I replaced my spark plugs and coil packs, man, those spark plugs were bad. I've actually seen people where the whole like spark plug like part, like where the spark is, that whole little ring section is gone like it's like flat like how does that happen like like you don't know I'm like what and highly recommend getting some performance coil packs you know the parts that connect to your spark plugs first of all they look cool but more importantly they're going to help with your spark they're going to help with the combustion car is going to run more effectively and efficiently and of course you're going to avoid problems because you know, you're going to be like, oh, I have a misfire. Let me replace the spark plugs. Oh, it's not that. Let me do the coil packs. Now you're just running around. You're wasting time. And you, it's like, what you doing? Like, let's take care of this first. Let's avoid the problem. Because, look, you're going to replace spark plugs. You're going to drive a day or two. Still have the issue. It might get worse. And then you're going to go, oh, let's replace uh, coil packs. Or then you won't even know. You know. A lot of people don't even think about coil packs, to be honest. What's going on, guys? I did forget to mention in this section that, I mean, I think this is obvious, but I'm gonna state it anyways. When you guys are inspecting the car, make sure you get an oil change. Like, that's just proper maintenance. Uh, I'm pretty sure once you pop your, uh, uh, you know, your oil thing to check it, you're gonna notice that you probably need an oil change. Like, definitely an oil change. Like, 100% get an oil change before you tune your car. Like, you're gonna, Bro, don't blow up the car. Come on. And transmission, automatic, DSG, manual. Get a transmission service. 
I'm not talking about clutch. I'm talking about flush the fluids, make sure it's good. Yes, that costs a lot of money. I believe I spent $350 on my car. Receipts in here and all. Check, take care of that. You don't want to be blowing the trans. You don't want to be blowing the trans, you know, doing a pull, something like that. You don't want the trans to fall out in the highway. Come on now. Literally seen a golf R. His trans literally like blew up on the highway cruising. Come on. Take care of fluids. Don't blow your shit up. Next things you guys need to check. Number two, what you guys have to check is make sure you have no open recalls. Uh, especially the 1.4, like there's a fuel rail recall because some systems, some fuel systems are failing. Some have loose bolts and they're just leaking fuel. Well, you already know what that can cause. Fire, uh, loss of MPG. You can get knock if you're tuned. You got a leaky fuel rail. So yeah, definitely check out your recalls. Make sure everything's good. Especially, you know, those, those scary airbag ones, guys. Like, what the hell? Like, just driving, you're doing a pull. It's like, go like 120 miles an hour and boom, your airbags go off. Oh, shit. What the, like, like what? Third thing you guys need to definitely check is make sure you got good tires, man. You guys are not going to be able to test out your tune if you got some trashy ass tires, man. You guys are going to be doing a pull. Fucking tires going to blow out. You guys are going to be in a ditch. Or you just won't even hook and you're gonna be like, wow, I just spent all this money on bolt-ons and a tune and I can't even hook. Definitely, you gotta do that before. Same thing with the spark plugs and coil packs. Take care of that first. If you guys don't take care of that first, you're not gonna have a good time. It's not gonna be fun. You can't send it. Like, what's the fun of that? You're just gonna be sitting there. Come on, spinning ain't winning, guys. So to recap, you guys need to be checking three things. How someone or yourself or a shop, don't recommend shop, hopefully yourself or you got a boy. Have them check your car, check your water pump, check your thermostat, spark plugs, coil packs. So make sure you guys check that out. Second thing you need to check, recalls. You can go on Carfax, you can call the dealer. Uh, shit, you can even Google it, YouTube it. Check for recalls, let's avoid the headache take care of that third thing you need to check make sure you got some decent tires honestly if you got some good new tires you're fine you don't need to get new ones again before the tune just make sure you got some good rubber i don't want you guys ended up in a ditch because you got a full bolt on car got a nice flash tune nice custom tune shooting flames and shit and you're in a ditch or you're broke down on the side of the road because you tried to do a pull and all you did was spin the tires all right let's try not to get hit by this boat All right, y'all, so the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to properly modify your Mark VI Jetta, what parts you need to be looking for, what you need to be getting, how to check quality, how to make sure you're buying good quality parts, good stuff, and if you're looking for more bang for your buck, I'm gonna be explaining what you need to look for in the cheaper parts that could either be good or bad. If you guys found this video helpful, please help me out. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, guys. Please subscribe please like the video you guys have any comments you want to see me uh, make another video like this or something you know provide some information comment down below some questions you guys are pretty good at uh, asking me questions so I, I'm more than happy to answer every single comment like like I don't know a whole lot of youtubers that will answer all your comments and I'm gonna stay true to that hopefully one day this will be a big channel and you know I'll be having fun, but nonetheless, I'll be replying to your guys' comments. Like, I'm going to stay connected with all you guys. That's my th big thing. I want to stay connected. I want to help you guys out. I want to lead the way. Speaking of lead the way, guys, I got in contact with this company, and we're going to be getting a hybrid turbo for this 1.4 liter, and we're going to be having some fun. But yeah, guys, check out my other videos, too. I got a whole bunch of shit on there, too. Yeah. See you guys. Have a good one.